Hi guys, welcome to another Excessive Gamer Review, my series of thoughts of current and maybe not so current games, because some oldies are worth looking back to. If you're hoping for an overall score, a number, or anything that remotely depicts any form of scaling system whereby you get to gauge the worthiness of the material, well, this isn't the place to get it, but what you'll certainly get is my most honest and humble opinion of what I think works and doesn't work in any given title. So if you like what you see, then why not subscribe? With all those formalities out of the way, let's get going. The much anticipated Uncharted 4 released on 2016 and is the latest installment in the franchise. Coming back to Uncharted 4 in 2020 after two playthroughs back in 2016 feels as though I've been reunited with an old friend after many years apart. It feels just like home. There are so many reasons big and small why Uncharted is so beloved. Nate's smug charm, Lena and her mature and maternal vibe always seemingly trying her utmost to keep Nate in check but generally not succeeding in that. Sully, the cigar chain smoking grandfather we always wanted, unless that's just me though. And in this last installment, Sam, Nathan's long lost and thought to be deceased brother. Being raised in the 80s means I was enthralled by movies like Back to the Future, The Goonies and Indiana Jones. So the Uncharted series helps relinquish those old memories, bringing back the great sense of adventure and in turn nostalgia back to me. There is nothing quite like the excitement and conundrums Nate and his merry band of explorers get caught up in. The game is set in Panama and works its way all over to Madagascar following the intriguing and mysterious story of the pirate Henry Avery and his long lost treasure. Sam, who was too quick to trust his cellmate and infamous drug lord Hector Alcazar, narrowly escapes prison with his life. Hector betrayed Sam's trust and now wants either half of the treasure or Sam's life for having broken him out of jail. Naturally, Sam went back to Nathan with his dilemma. Nate ends up caught in all the mess, Elena has mixed feelings but ends up joining in the fun, as does Sully, and a whole new cast of bad guys. It hasn't been an Uncharted game that hasn't broken barriers. All of them brought something or striking to the table as far as pushing the technical envelope. Uncharted 4 is no different. The beautiful landscapes and great draw distances are a marvel to behold. It's almost picturesque and I found myself stopping and admiring the scenery more than I care to admit. Some places are just jaw dropping, and I don't mean a quick nod of a head in approval type of jaw dropping, I mean a stopping your tracks and double take type of jaw dropping. Naughty Dog have really scrutinized the backdrops as much as they have the character details here, and the sense of scale is very much accomplished, making Drake at times seem tiny and inconsequential against lavish backdrops and set pieces worthy of challenging much of what Hollywood has to offer. The all too familiar cast is back working wonders with their voice acting. Nolan North as Nate, Emily Rose as Elena, Richard McGonagall as Sully and now Troy Baker who you may know from this portrayal in Joel uh, in the little franchise called The Last of Us as Sam, Nate's brother. These are all now veterans in the gaming industry and I think the fact that Nolan North has lent his services to so many games and having practically single handedly raised the bar for mocap acting for video games because without him and the rest of his crew story games wouldn't be a fraction as believable as they are today. Charted as a franchise has played a major role in the very reason why I'm still a gamer. Ever since I first delved into console gaming after a long hiatus by purchasing a second hand PS3 and slapping on Uncharted 2 for the first time in this console, I've not been able to take my mind off the series. Nate is the guy next door, your pal and beer buddy. Fair enough, he can climb far beyond real human capabilities and kill hundreds if not thousands of people without remorse, but we all need a little adventure and make believe in our lives. Uncharted 4 is the culmination of everything Naughty Dog. It's the culmination of the best gaming industry has to offer. The graphics, AI, storytelling, acting, level design and the rapid improvement in technology are all here in one package. There is no wonder it is the highest selling Uncharted game having sold more than 50 million copies worldwide. Back in 2016, it was above and beyond the competition, and today, in 2020, it still holds its own as one of the best games on PlayStation. It looks great, it plays great, and takes you for the ride of your life. I'm Excessive Gamer. Until next time.